All right, guys, we got another holster, and it is now starting to act like springtime, so we have a bunch of extra light coming in here that I need to figure out how to block that off because it could be very distracting, and I haven't had to deal with that for a while because it's been winter, and now the sun's coming out. Let's get into this review. All right, so I just said review, but this is an overview, and let's just get the, all the stuff and things out of the way. This is a We The People product thing that we're doing here. Um, they send me holsters, I make videos. That's pretty much the relationship I have with them. If you don't like that, you can click out of the video and disregard anything and everything that I say. But if you do wanna hang around, I always give my honest opinion and I tell people what I think about the products that are sent to me. That's something when anybody sends me something, I always tell them, if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. I'm gonna tell my people, you guys, what I actually think about these things. I don't try to sell stuff for people. I don't do that kind of thing. I'm just giving you information. Whether you like this stuff or not, I'm just giving you the information, all right? So that being said, let's jump right into this, okay? Um, a little while back ago, I got into, not very long ago, the P320 game, right? I'm like five years behind, or however long the thing's actually been out. And so I have, a P320, right? This is the compact, but down here in the lights you can actually see it. But this is the compact version, right? But I don't have a holster for it. So, we should have a couple different things here. A couple different things, a couple different, yeah, here we go. We got a couple different things here that should remediate that whole situation, right? So, I do generally get to pick which holster and thing that, you know, I'm gonna review. They don't just send me random stuff and hope to have the gun for it. But this is so so that being said not but that being said this is a holster an inside the waistband holster specifically for the sig p320 all right so let's just put the holster aside that's the main thing let's put the holster aside let's get into some other stuff because they do other things they make shirts this is a shirt from them right this is a long sleeve actually i do wear their stuff and i do generally actually like it this is another shirt from them this is a short sleeve this time um and they have Wow, that's tough plastic. I need to go to the gym. Wow, okay. Um, cheesy, cheesy stuff, man, I'm so sorry. They do make shirts, and depending on the kind of person you are, right, they make some that's a little bit more out there, right? Um, bold statement-ish kind of stuff. You can go and look at their, look at the stuff that they have to offer. But they also make some more things that are a little bit more subdued, right? I had a mug with this thing on it, that, or not a mug, a, uh, uh, tumbler, tumbler, I think is what they call it. The insulated cup thing that you put drinks in. Um, and it had this thing on it. And this is kind of a subdued kind of thing. They have some other ones. This one's not super out in your face kind of thing. I mean, 1776, if you know what it is, you know what it is, right? You should, if you live in America. Um, the flags and their logos and stuff. But they have other things out there. So I'm gonna throw this one on. This is a large, um, so I'm gonna throw this thing on real quick and let's just see what it looks like and we'll carry on with the other stuff that they sent. All right, so there we go. That is, that's a large, yeah. So that's fine. I have gained a little bit of extra weight and um, large actually works just fine. I don't think it has anything on the back. Nope, nothing on the back. Uh, but guns, G-U-N-S, right? Okay, so that's kind of cool. But they're nice, decent shirts. I do like them. They also, I kind of said it a second ago, they have tumblers and things. And believe it or not, we use those things all the time. Um, I'm actually kind of eh, kind of glad that they do send these along with the holsters sometimes. Um, because we use these all the time. When we go to church, uh, I like to, I'm a, I'm a coffee snob, I'll admit it, I like my coffee, and I don't generally like to just drink the pot coffee kind of stuff. So, I like to bring my own coffee, so having a, a generous amount of these tumblers, I just said it earlier, these tumbler things sitting around the house, these come in very handy because we use them, no joke, like all the time. This one's kind of cool. I've never gotten one of their white ones, uh, but this is, this is like I was just saying, the light is really on there. So here, I'll hold it up. There you go. That's better. You can see it matches the shirt. See, matches, matches. Uh, but a white one, and I've never done a white one. I've done some of the black ones, and I've done some of, they have stainless steel. And in general, they're, whatever they have, I don't know if this is Cerakote or whatever they have on here, but in general, it has held up better than the other other brands, other people that have sent me stuff, um, whatever this paint stuff is, hel holds up better, right? I can put it in the dishwasher, I can use it. Yes, it will wear over time, especially like around the lip a little bit kind of thing, but I have some out there that is basically just, it's been destroyed. 
The ones that they have are no joke, they are better quality. I'm not blowing smoke up your butt, I'm telling you like I told you, I'm gonna tell you my honest opinions on things. They are good quality, right? So they, this is a holster company, but they also do this other stuff. So anyway, we'll put this guy over here. All right, you can, you, can, you can look at that. It can reflect the sun and cause glares and stuff. But here's the holster, right? Now we already said this is for the SIG P320. Here's that guy. And make sure it's the uh, P320 full size manual safety Streamlight TLR 77A. Okay, so I had to make sure I knew which one I was I was getting. Um, this is their inside the waistband. They make inside the waistband, outside the waistband. They make some leather ones. We just did that not too long ago. Uh, got one of those in somewhere. It's in my box because I brought it to the range. But they're inside the waistband holsters. Of all the holsters, this is a no joke. You can call me out on it if you want to call me out on it, and I really don't care. Their inside the waistband holsters are the holsters that I would recommend to people who want who want a holster and not a whole bunch of muss and fuss about it. You know, they can pick, you know, the, the, the color scheme a little bit and kind of stuff and play around with it a little bit like that. But in general, just a holster, a no frills holster that simply works for me. And this is me speaking for me. These things have worked. They're inside the waistbands. They're outside the waistband holsters. They function, right? They do kind of what they're supposed to do as far as the ones that I have have never broken on me or anything. I just feel that they're inside the waistband holsters are their number one, like their higher quality holsters. I don't know if there's really anything different. I don't know if it's a perceived thing in my end of stuff, but their inside the waistband holsters are the ones that I have personally bought with my money, right? To actually carry uh, pistols in and stuff like this one right here. I bought the claw. I bought the holster itself and I use this to, to carry a Glock 48 43x sometimes when I just want something small and lightweight and just to throw on real quick, right? So that's why and here's another one. This is for the the Beretta 92 I didn't have a holster for it. So same thing. I wanted a holster I decided to go with inside the waistband just because it makes more sense for me so These are really very very similar as far as design except that the one that we just got is for a, it's supposed to have a flashlight. We do have the flashlight right here. This is a TLR, Streamlight TLR 7A. We will, real quick, throw that on the Pistoli. And we're not gonna like super lock tight anything or whatever. We're just throwing on here for like, just function, just to make sure that it is gonna actually fit and kind of do, kind of do what it says it's supposed to do, right? Now, here's a little, a little uh, I don't know if you wanna call it a hint or a piece of advice or whatever, but for me, generally for me, whenever I go get a, a holster, right, I will generally try to find a holster um, that fits the longer slide version of whatever I might be carrying, right? For instance, if I was getting an inside the waistband holster, well, we'll just use this for instance, since we're right here talking about it. This is a compact slide, right? This does not have a manual safety, and this does not have an optic cut, right? And I know for right now that I'm not gonna be running an optic. I don't remember if they have a version with this that is supposed to have an optic cut. I do not remember. I can't confirm or deny that. You can look it up on their website. Or ask me, and then I'll tell you to look it up on their website. Anyway. I, I suggest getting the longer slide version because I like to run threaded barrels that either have a comp or in this case it has a Griffin armament cam lock on the end so that I can quickly attach and unattach and swap out and move around suppressors, right? Because I that's why not put hearing protection on the gun so it's safe and quiet for everybody around you instead of just being selfish and wearing ear pro yourself. There's a little argument for that. But anyway, I like to run a threaded barrel, and that means that if I just got a holster that was specifically made for the compact version of whatever gun, whether that be a Glock 19, right, or a SIG uh, P320, if you get this compact version, and then you decide later to get a comp or threaded barrel or something, sometimes that, that comp or threaded barrel will extend past the bottom of the holster. Now, if you're carrying inside the waistband and you actually go out and shoot your guns a lot and you practice things and draws and all these other kind of stuff, that can put some heat down south, if you know what I mean. Because if your barrel extends past your holster, then there's nothing protecting things down south if you catch my drift you know what i'm talking about okay that all that being said if you get the longer version of whatever holster you're getting in general it should help protect and just be a covering for your for your holster 
All that being said, I haven't fit this guy in here yet, so I sure do hope that it fits properly. So we'll see, stick the guy in here, yep. And so it does, it comes right to the end. Maybe it sticks out just a hair. I mean, if you can kind of see that, literally just a hair, which I'm not worried about that. I, I don't have a problem with that. that, that's perfectly fine. But if I had, well, here's case in point, case in point here, is a full size, this is an M17, and I deleted the safety, the external safety on this guy. So, that's what this these little nubs here on the side are for, for that safety that's supposed to be in there. But this guy, if he is in here, there we go, there we go. All right, because it doesn't have a light on it, it wasn't sitting in there right. If he was on there, do you see how a full size pretty much comes right up to the end? If I stuck a threaded barrel and that Griffin Armament can lock, it'd be sticking out about an inch, at least, out of the bottom of it, all right? So this is what it was designed for, right? But I specifically got this system to run, there we go, just like this with a threaded barrel cam lock and I have a light down here. And the whole, and I wanted to keep the light relatively simple. They have different options. You can do the stream, stream light. I think it's the TLR1, right? So this feller right here, right? So this is a two cell battery. A little bit more power, gives you a little bit more light, right? And it gives you different switches and stuff, but it's wider. I wanted to go, Again, this would be for like a concealed carry kind of thing. I wanted to go with a slimmer flashlight. So this is not as bright as the TLR-1, right? That is what it's called. Yeah, the TLR-1 HL. But for concealed carry, for general purpose kind of stuff, this totally, totally works for what it needs to do. So anyway, let's throw this guy on real quick. I'm gonna get my little step stool so I can raise up and you can see my, my waistline. Let's get this guy out. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna chop my forehead off, but here we go. So, that's this guy. Let's just throw it on, and we're wearing our buckleless, uh, we the people belt. So here we go, so that guy goes in there, and this has no claw on it. Remember we talked about the claw. If you do get inside the waistband holsters, I don't care what company you get it from, Try to find one with some kind of wedge or what they have different terms and names and stuff for it. For We The People, it's called a claw and it's a little piece right here that's, that pushes the butt of that grip into you a little bit. I don't have one on here yet, but I probably will pull one off of one of the ones that I have and put it on this holster. But you can see, you can see how that, how that butt of that pistol sticks out a little bit. To a general, like, person that is not paying a whole lot of attention, Probably not gonna be a big deal, but it is something to consider. But this sticks up high enough, you can get a nice grip. You can do what you need to do. The holster doesn't collapse in on itself or anything. All right, um, so you're not gonna have any trouble, you shouldn't have any trouble reholstering or finding the, the opening for your holster to go in there. Um, I'm going to honestly wear this thing and give it a shake because I, this is the only holster I have right now that I can carry the P320 in. I don't have any other holsters for it, except I do have an outside the waistband holster from We The People. It's a it's the leather one that I stuck somewhere in a box because um, I always bring it to the range. But that holster, that's an outside the waistband holster. That's I, I like that one for running around the woods and everything like that because it's out and it's open and it's non-concealed and it's easy access. For going around town, other kind of things, if you're in general public areas, I don't want to alarm people. I don't want to cause a stink. I don't want to present myself as a target, so I like to carry concealed. That's my reasonings and stuff for that. So, this is the holster I have for that. So we're gonna give this thing a shake. We're gonna use it, and we're gonna see how well we really like it, all right? Um, I know there's gonna be some people out there that are gonna have stuff to say about We The People. For me, personally, everything that they have sent me, you could call it cherry picked, you could call it whatever, it has functioned the way it's been intended to function. I don't think that is proper English the way that I said that, but the things that they have sent me have functioned and they function to find. The things that I have purchased myself before ever even getting anything from them, they didn't have a clue who I was, those things have all functioned fine for me. Now, I know some people have had things break on them, the claw, different things, other people have horror stories, people have all kinds of things for any company that's out there. For me, and I can only speak from my personal experience, these things have worked, and for what they are, right, like an entry-level holster for XYZ handgun you might have, because they, they have a lot of versions out there for a lot of different handguns, and for an entry-level holster that's gonna do what it needs to do, which is securely hold the firearm and hold it on your body, I don't have a problem with these. I have no problem with these at all.
all right? So anyway, if you have any questions about their holsters, their cups, their swag, whatever stuff, they send you stickers all the time, these things, big stickers and stuff. If you got any questions about this stuff, please do let me know. I will get you the best answer I can. I will have a link down below. It is an affiliate link, I think, I do believe, so I'm not sure exactly how that works. Um, so far, I don't think I've gotten anything from them besides these things. I think some people have bought through that affiliate link, so I need to check on that. But anyway, I, there is an affiliate link, so it does help me out. It does help them, we the people, see that you guys are actually watching the video and you're in, in, you know, you're getting something out of it, right? And to get something out of it too, I do have a promo code, discount code thing, and that all that stuff's gonna be down below and stuff like that. Other ways, if you wanted to check out other stuff that I do, I'm on Instagram. I try to post some just pictures and things and more up-to-date kind of stuff. I'm on Patreon if you really just want to throw money at me so that I can continue doing this kind of stuff. Um, Patreon's the easiest, best way to do that, and I try to put out an extra video a week for you guys, more of a an up-to-date update on what is currently going on on the channel. That stuff's out there. I'm on Gunstreamer and Rumble, right? Don't know much about any of those things. So much, I'm not a super techie guy, but I cross-post pretty much everything to Rumble and to Gunstreamer, all right? That's pretty much it. Appreciate you all watching and subscribing and everything. Please do let me know if I can ever help you guys out in any way. And thanks again to We The People for sending this stuff out, right? Y'all be good to be safe. We'll catch you in the next video. Catch you in the next video. It's not like I said catch you in the next video. I mean, hopefully we will meet in the next video. That got awkward. Y'all take care.